people say, why do you talk about this? Why do you talk about gender? You know why? Because there is no bigger lie, and this is even bigger than the Russia hoax. There has been no bigger lie perpetrated in the American public than the idea that men and women are completely and fundamentally interchangeable. Question of the day, um, how, do you, how mainstream do you think the view that men can get periods to, also, that also includes all of modern gender yeah, theory, yeah. how mainstream do you think it is on the left? Do you think it's a small faction? At what point when you look at every single DNC candidate putting their his and her and Z pronouns in their yeah. Twitter profile, do you say, oh, it seems like this is sort of broken away from the pack and it's, it's now in the mainstream. I guess broken into the pack. Ooh, it's like yes. a reverse run of the bulls. Yeah. They have, They're running yes. in looking to get yeah. bored by hard trendy Cox. We'll bleep that. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, hard bleep. this is hard, hard bleep. Hard bleep. People hard bleep. be like, kissing, what did he say? I'm Nothing. sure it's Nothing. the theater of the mind, mm. people. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dennis Prager was recently on, on Bill Maher's show, and he had the audacity to point out some of the biggest lies coming from the left, and I want you to see <laughs> the reaction here, because um, at first I had to do a double take. To say that men can menstruate is a lie, and that is now, that is what is said. Wait, 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 where did that come from? I, I never, wait, you never heard it, right, okay. Check it out, folks, check wow. it out. I think I, Anyone I who says wrong. a man wait, wait, cannot wait, wait, menstruate wait, wait. is considered transphobic. I, I, I missed this whole story. You, are you did? I did. I tell, no, tell me where, so where, where are you it. getting this? Just Google it, can men menstruate? Well, well, First I, off, it is funny that you said menstruate. I hate yeah. the pronunciation, yeah. But it is men- it, it, that is actually it's correct. Accurate. Uh, I don't yeah, like we ran it, a search on it. You can say it one of both ways. I love how Bill always says, oh, well, well, this is, when, when did... <laughs> I'm ill-prepared for this question, so let me just do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, does, he turns to the audience. <laughs> <laughs> and then the crowd animator, and here's what's so crazy. A crowd animator exists for all shows, right? All right. comedy shows. Right. It's like, okay, laugh when you went to go see Letterman, exactly. right? It says yeah. laugh. But with, with Bill Maher, there's a crowd animator to say, cheer, cheer this point, agree yeah, with this yeah. point. Well, so he just looks oh. to the audience and goes, <laughs> and they go, yay! <laughs> uh, I guess it was kind of tongue in cheek, right? His audience, they just like the left. But uh, he makes the same argument that you hear a lot, that it's a small section of, of, of liberals. Yeah. I, I guess he's missed Every major article on transgenderism from every major publication. What do we yeah, got? Scary yeah. Mommy, MTV, HuffPo, Independent, Telegraph, People Magazine. Yeah. All say that men can have their periods too. And by the way, these, these aren't just some random op-ed people. Not only do we have YouTube videos here, but this is part, some of these clips are from a na- international, sorry. No. It's a pandemic, yes. which I believe means international. <laughs> yes. It's not an epidemic, it it's a pandemic mm. from yes. Thinks Tampons. Look at these videos. Some guys have periods. It's a thing. Uh-huh. It happens. It's normal. There's nothing wrong with it. Some people might argue otherwise, but guys yep. can have periods too. Hey, uh, actually, if a man <laughs> has a period, it means he's very I sick. I got my period. Um, are you talking about coming from your ass? I mean, I didn't but he just did. Terrible. At all until I was 27. This is part from a tampon company. And so that leaves me with five-ish years of what? I don't need to see the identifying as a man, oh, yeah. but also getting my period. I okay. Listen, this oh, is at geez. the point. <laughs> Yeah, just some small Twitter faction. That's what it is. When they're running national (laughs) advertising, sorry, international pandemics. This is mainstream on the left. And by the way, no one from the DNC can stray from these mainstream points. I want to get back to Dennis Prager and Bill Maher here. Um, He actually had, again, the audacity to point out that UC Berkeley, they have tampon dispensers in the men's room, which, of course, draws more laughter from the crowd animator for Bill Maher. At the University of Berkeley men's room, tampons are given out. (laughs) Check it out. Cal- UC Berkeley men's rooms have tampon dispensers. Would you? <laughs> <laughs> Clap! Agree! Agree! It is on. Un- yeah, and he goes, like, oh, I don't really say. Okay, uh, also University of Wisconsin Madison, University yeah. of Minnesota Twin Cities, Brown University. They all provide menstrual products in men's rooms. Okay, yeah. this isn't so, this isn't some isolated incident. By the way, since this uh, this episode happened last week, just so you know, you would think they maybe would lay low for a bit, right? Because people <laughs> right. like, this is absurd. This isn't mainstream. Since then, Parents Magazine, not even an activist publication, yep. posted this on Instagram yesterday. Look, Mowgli saying that men can have periods, uh, too. You have better oh, things to do. Yeah. But Gira would be ashamed. Oh, my God. <laughs> Learn to walk barefoot, at least buy some Vibrams. <laughs> <laughs> planned parent. Let's go down the list here. Planned parent. Inextricably tied with the Democratic Party. Yeah. They're an organization the United States gives over $500 million to annually. They say that men can get periods in their educational literature on menstruation. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Menstru- I- 
No. Also, by the way, I'm Planned Parenthood, this is an organization that's going to make my half Asian lawyer, uh, Bill Richmond, a little bit uncomfortable because he was not involved with this video because I wanted to protect him from it. But <laughs> Planned Parenthood also believes that men can get pregnant too. I know. I tried it. So your test came back positive. Really? Mm -hmm. The only options we can give you is that we can give you the forms for uh, the Medicaid if you want to go ahead and continue with the pregnancies. I am so That's glad, so by the funny. way, that we stole piss. Just bleep the name so people don't duck. <laughs> we stole Doxing. a woman's urine, <laughs> oh, tested nice. positive on a pregnancy test, and they couldn't say, like, uh, you're sick, you have testicular cancer. They, uh, congratulations! <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do a gender reveal? I mean, uh, I mean, no, I mean, Z, I mean, Z, I mean, sh I'm getting fired. It is so absurd. I'm out. We're not Canceled. sure how the baby's coming out. But... And this will probably be removed. It's already been demonetized on but YouTube. Yeah, By the way, hit the notification bell if you're subscribed because subscriptions don't mean a whole lot. Notifications let you know when there's an entire new video that goes up. And of course, uh, just check in every day. We have a new video at 8 o'clock. Join Mug Club. That's what allows us to continue. This is something else, too. How, how far... Because now you can say, well, it's HuffPo, it's People Magazine, it's Planned Parenthood, it's Parents Magazine. It's all yeah. of these major yeah. publications. But that hasn't necessarily made it to the national platform. Really? How about we go to the DNC candidates? Yeah. The House overwhelmingly passed the Equality Act, which, by the way, would force all institutions in America to treat someone's identified gender as if it were a biological fact. Right. Six of the Democrat presidential candidates, six of them, have added their gender yep. pronouns to Twitter. All and right, by the way, Bill. lest you think you're saying, maybe this is just on Twitter, there's a separation between Twitter and real life. Well, let's go to Democratic presidential hopeful, and I say hopeful oh, because yeah. he's so hopeful. Julian Castro <laughs> even demanded that trans women have access to taxpayer-funded, uh, well, he didn't say trans women, uh, taxpayer-funded abortions. Hear how he dead-named people. I don't believe only in reproductive uh, freedom. I believe in reproductive justice. Just because justice. a woman, I mean. or let's also not forget someone in the, the trans community, a trans female, uh, <laughs> is poor, doesn't mean they shouldn't have the right to exercise that right to choose. <laughs> His team is like, crap, I'm a trans male. <laughs> yeah, I know, right away. <laughs> Dang it! Someone read the Craigslist calling sheets. It's MTF! <laughs> Looking for a good time. <laughs> you know, I, know that's this. how I found out it was MTF. Yeah, FTM. I don't know. The point is, it's a sick subculture. Hey, of course, it's a gross website. I know that's judgmental. I'm okay with it. This is something else too. That's <laughs> for your own Move good. On. <laughs> Later on, uh, Bill Maher mentions uh, he, he goes on to talk about trans athletes, and he yeah. he tries to claim that. Well, listen, this is absurd, but that's a far cry from the idea of men menstruating. Listen to what the case he makes. What you're talking about is, yes, someone who is transgendered was a man, now claims to be a woman, what? is a woman. Is a woman! Is a woman! Is a woman! He's already canceled. Dog <laughs> out of other women in the race because, of course, they have more muscle mass. This is a far cry from saying men can menstruate. Now you wonder, I hate why, the pronunciation. You wonder why he had to catch himself like uh, be believes there is, is a woman. Is a woman. Let me explain this yeah. to you. We just the said James panic O'Keefe. in his eyes. <laughs> was was just just amazing. Amazing. And I am dead inside. <laughs> the reason that he does that. Okay, we just had uh, we talked about Amy. Uh, is it Robach? Amy Robach with James yeah. O'Keefe yes, yesterday, yeah, who had yeah. the story on Epstein, and it was punted. Right. Mm -hmm. This was a woman who had a story on possibly the biggest, most influential. Oh. I guess you know. Epstein was what you would call like a pedophile influencer, like, you know, social media influencers. Yeah. Like fitness influencers. He was bigger a pedophile than Michael, influencer <laughs> that could have saved potentially dozens or hundreds of young people from being under the thumb of Jeffrey yeah. Epstein. And they punted the story. And we were talking about this. That really when you see that, one of the biggest scandals ever in American history, it tells you that people with mainstream outlets uh, or working within mainstream outlets, they cannot do honest journalism. No. They are precluded from doing it, okay? So, let's take that carried over. Why do you think Bill Maher is going, uh, identifies, no wait, it's a woman, it's a woman, because he's on the same network as Lena Dunham's Girls in the New Watchmen series. Yeah, yeah exactly. He knows that he would be on the unemployment yeah. line faster than Bernie Sanders can get on a Russia honeymoon getaway. This guy is going to be gone from yeah. the network if he doesn't play ball. Lest you think that I'm exaggerating here, Democrat Ilan Omar, when she's not, you know, in, in between, uh, in between uh, sessions with the brothers. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> she demanded an investigation oh, no. of the United USA Powerlifting Association uh. because they wouldn't let transgenders compete in the women's division. She claimed that it was a myth that powerlifters who are mm. biological males have a direct competitive advantage huh. at lifting weights. So she equates the idea that a man lifting, that a man has the potential to lift more weight with. Loch Ness Monster. In her mind, <laughs> they're effectively the same. And by the way, let's be clear about this. Legislatively, Demo I don't know how Bill Maher has missed this, and this is why I do think it's intellectually disingenuous. I never, yeah. I don't want to attribute motive 
But at this point, legislatively, considering that he is an educated man, he's yeah, a well-read man on guy. policy, legislatively, the Democrats are way past this. Legislatively, the Democrats have already signed on to a platform and an agenda that says men can menstruate too. That's why they are so tied with Planned Parenthood. That's why they put their pronouns in their Twitter profiles. That's why Julian Castro just said what he said about, by the way, transgenders not only having the ability to have an abortion performed, which right away that should stop the conversation because they <laughs> right. can't. I don't care how birthing your hips are. If you're if you're a baseball catcher in Division One, it doesn't matter. You're still not going to have a baby. No. Okay. Sorry about that. Not only that, but legislatively, uh, they're way past that, and they try to sidestep the question of transgender males to females. Yeah. Now I'm getting confused. It, it is confusing. So transgender confused. males to females. Yeah, you know what? Female. Guys in dresses uh, playing <laughs> yeah, sports. Right. They try to sidestep yeah. when you ask, what about transgenders in sports? Well, I think it's kind of like, should be, there be limitations on abortions? And, and Bernie Sanders says, I don't believe that it's my place. Like, what about men fracturing skulls in female mixed right. martial arts? And right. they say, well, you know, this is fear mongering. But legislatively, they're already past the idea that men can have periods too. And this is something that, that I think Mara really needs to understand. They dismiss it as though it's absurd, and they miss a point that Dennis Prager was making. These are these are mammoth lies, and I do think this is an important point. You know, Donald Trump, we've talked about it, he, he's a bit of a BSer, right? He yeah. might exaggerate the, the, the attendance, right, at his rallies. Right. He might go out and say, this is the best economy we've ever had. And I, you know, you look at unemployment, you look at job participation pretty rate, good. you look at more black businesses it's being started than ever, you look at black <laughs> yeah, unemployment rate, you look at the median household income when you exclude for super wealthy earners being $5,000 for the average middle income family compared to $1,000 for Obama, $400 for George W. Bush, and you go, you know what, he has a point there, but maybe GDP isn't as robust as he would like it to be, but that's not an outright lie. You're going to call those lies compared to men can leak menstruation from where their balls used to be? Right, yeah. I mean, it's that's blood, man. Men, <laughs> men thank, thank and you, women yeah, correct. are the same. This is, I, this is one thing else. People say, why do you talk about this? Why do you talk about gender? You know why? Because there is no bigger lie. Per, and this is even bigger than the Russia hoax. There has been no bigger lie perpetrated in the American public than the idea that men and women are completely and fundamentally interchangeable. We yeah. want to talk about Donald Trump. We want to talk about Russia. We want to talk about the media. We can talk about Epstein. All of those things matter. They're relevant. Sure. But to try and act as though those are more pressing than the huge, this gargantuan lie that men and women are the same, that we do not have inherent differences, which by the way, is what makes us stronger. It's what makes the family unit stronger. When you say that men and women are fundamentally interchangeable, you first off tug at the fabric of society by pulling apart the family and you have a bunch of kids who don't think they need a mother and a father because fundamentally, two moms are the same thing as two dads and two dads are the same thing as a dad with a dick and a mom with a dick. <laughs> I got confused during that rant. I meant to say a dad with a menstruating part. And by the way, men can't menstruate. It's not. It's like those Halloween. Thank it's you. a it's a parlor trick. It's a parlor trick. It's like those Halloween masks that you have that have like the second coating, and so you squeeze it, and it looks like the mask is bleeding. Yeah. It has a pump. They have a pump. They're going menstruation. You're like, no, that's a lie. Look, he's palming the pump. <laughs> My point is, this. I love it. They just act as though for the longest time they would say this is a small faction. Like people would say, on their, I think it's legitimate for the right to say, sure, there are some people who are racist, on the, but it really is a small faction. If you look at their voting record, these yeah. people, Republicans don't vote en masse for racism. Nope. They certainly don't support racist policies. They do the opposite of that, you can argue. Whereas you look at the voting records of any of these Democratic candidates, and they consistently vote for this, not only a slippery slope, they are trying to shove people down this slippery slope so fast they gain too much speed that they end up throwing themselves down the slope, telling you mm -hmm. that men can have periods too. Men cannot have periods. Bill Maher knows that men cannot have periods, but Bill Maher tries to act like it's an extreme view and not mainstream in the left. It is the sole mainstream view of the left. As a matter of fact, I would wage, I would go as far as to say it is the only allowable mainstream view on the left. You, you, you think that uh, this, you think this is hyper, hyperbolic here? Okay, go to a leftist rally. Any Elizabeth Warren, you have to watch it through your fingers though, because it's, like, it's so cringy. Go to a Bernie rally, go to an Elizabeth Warren rally, go to any town hall where they allow for open questions and ask them if they think that we've gone too far in supporting the idea that men can menstruate too. Or just shout out, men can't have periods, and watch yourself get booed. It yeah. is the only acceptable viewpoint in the left, and I don't believe for a second that Bill Maher doesn't know it. You let me know what you think about menstruation. It's like a Tootsie Pop bubble. Menstruation. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe or hit the notification bell because subscriptions don't mean a whole lot. And of course, do join Mug Club at ladderwithcredit.com slash mug club. You get like 80% more content, a full daily show. And I will tell you this, 
I know you, you might be on the fence. None of them involve men, men's true hating. So we've got that going for us.